Are you a mom that is feeling like a failure? Do you really think parenting is just about passing or failing? Think again, because every single stumble, every victory, all of that, that shapes our path. And I want to break down this process for you because I want to redefine what failure is and what it really means to succeed as a parent and embrace this imperfect journey because that's what it is. It's a very much an imperfect journey. And let's break that down because we need to find balance and be able to grow through these stumbling blocks in these everyday challenges because that's what it is. It's an everyday situation. Some days are better than others. So let's dive in. Redefining failure. Number one, failure is a perception. And if your adult child is saying, mom, you failed at parenting me, you're a complete failure. You have to remember they're operating out of pain, right? So that is their perception. You do realize that, right? Because it's not a pass or fail, like taking a test in school where you get multiple choice questions and you get a percentage or you get ABC. And you know, I talk a lot about perception and how your perception is your reality. And the same goes for your son or daughter. But you need to know that these mistakes or perceived shortcomings, which we all have them, they don't define your success as a parent or your personal worth. This is why you can have two or more children and they have different perceptions possibly of what it was like growing up in your home. And granted, sometimes they can be way off and sometimes, you know, there's other things that, that are shaping them or did shape them. But for the most part, you can have those conversations with them at some point and say, you, you know, they, they may be saying, no, that's not really what happened. And you're like, well, no, that's, this is kind of really what happened, but it doesn't matter. Those are just words. We have to go off of people's perceptions. Doesn't mean they can't be changed, but we have to start there. So there is no ideal parenting standard. And your job is to protect your children and to keep them healthy and safe. And I don't know about yours, but mine didn't come with a manual. And if they did, each one of your children would need a different manual because they're two individual people, right? They're their own person. Secondly is triggers. You may feel triggered when you start thinking about these scenarios. When you think maybe, how did I manage work-life balance? I was a single mom and I wasn't available as much as I should have been, but I was trying to pay the bills. I was, didn't know how to handle teenage rebellion, but who does? Maybe you didn't know how to handle their school issues. Maybe they were having performance issues with their grades and you didn't handle it up to par. You know, I just feel like I need to say something here because I feel like we give everyone else grace as we should, but you as a mom need to look in the mirror sometimes and give yourself some grace. And I say that with all the love in the world. And I'll admit, I used to not do that for myself, but it's very important that you do. So for those of you that I've not talked to before and you're on this journey and you need some help and you want to start coaching, you can click the link below for a discovery call. And that's a consultation for us to be able to have a 30 minute conversation. And I look forward to talking to you when you're ready. Lastly is self-criticism, and that's a big one. Constant comparison with other parents is so huge. You criticize yourself and all really you're doing is distorting reality and increasing your own feelings of inadequacy. Literally, you're doing this to yourself because who said you're inadequate? Maybe it was, maybe it was your child, but does that mean it's truth? Only you know that, but many times we do this to ourselves to a fault. And I think that's the, where the problem lies with self-criticism. What are you measuring yourself against? That's what you need to figure out. Is it June Cleaver or the Brady Bunch? I mean, come on guys. <laughs> so I just want you to know that no parent is perfect. You have to embrace your imperfections. That is the key to you being realistic in this approach and you being realistic in your evaluation of how you parented your child. So I also want you to make sure you're celebrating those successes maybe start journaling and celebrate even the small successes, the ones, whether they're memories or they're happening in real time that you had or that you're having now, 
because you need to see that shift. You need to shift the focus from what you perceive as a failure and start writing these things down, the positive ones that have happened, because I know for a fact there's a lot of them. And if you can't think of them, you're not thinking hard enough. Because many times the big outweighs the small and they're all consuming in our mind and we don't need that. So you're not a failure. Every mom has had good and bad mom moments, right? We're human. And one day, most of you whose children have their own child and have experienced teenage years, etc., they're going to understand where they're not understanding now. So hold tight. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.